Hello everybody, my name is Chris Reed and today we are continuing our tutorial series A to Z and Reason Studios. In this video, we will be covering the Neptune Pitch Adjuster. The Neptune is an effect inside of Reason which allows you to adjust and manipulate the pitch of vocals and other instruments. Neptune is very similar to other VST effects which allow you to auto-tune or create the famous T-Pain effect, but you can do that inside of Reason. Now I think some may be sleeping on this effect and thinking it's just a watered down or budget version of auto-tune, but I'm here to dispel those misunderstandings and show you guys just how powerful Neptune can be. So let's jump inside of Reason so we can check out the Neptune Pitch Adjuster. I'm here inside Reason where I have opened up a file where we can check out the Neptune Pitch Adjuster. Now, you're gonna hear me singing and I'm not the greatest singer, but let's hear what Neptune was able to do for this track. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. You see me every day, I gotta hustle. It's nothing, I'm a dying. Hopefully your ears are okay from that singing, but let's take a look at the Neptune Pitch Adjuster. The Neptune Pitch Adjuster is very straightforward. It has many of the same functions that other effects inside of Reason has. It has the bypass on and off switch. It has a pitch bend, and it also has a vibrato in case you wanna add in a vibrato effect to your vocal. Now to check out the rest of Neptune, the main feature is this inside window where you can adjust the root of your note, the scale, and you can have a scale memory. In other words, you can save different scales that you might be using throughout that vocal performance. So for example, you might start on F major, but you might actually switch to C minor, or you might actually end up switching to C harmonic minor. You can actually save those in the scale memory and recall them very very quickly to change the pitch adjustment that's happening to your vocal if you are switching keys, for example. In order to use the Neptune Pitch Adjuster, you must first select the root note and the scale that you are using in your vocal performance. There's the chromatic scale, major scale, natural minor, harmonic minor, Dorian, and mixolydian. This song was created in F major, so I set my root note to F and I set my scale to major. If, for example, I change my scale to natural minor, you will hear a difference. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. You see me every day, I gotta hustle. It's nothing. Now I'm a dog trying. Yeah, yeah. I'm a dog trying. Yeah, yeah, put that on my line. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. So be sure to set your scale appropriately. If you need help understanding what a scale is, you can use the scales and chords player in order to check out the different kinds of scales. If you need help understanding music theory or keys and scales, please leave a comment down below and I'll make a video helping you out with that. The input section allows you to change what input is coming into Neptune. So say if you have a low frequency, like a very low bass tone of singer or instrument, you can click the low frequency and it will more directly target those frequencies when it is adjusting the pitch. If there is a person who's singing with a wide vibrato, there's a lot of up and down in their pitch, you might wanna check that option so that Neptune can more precisely tone in and hone in on those frequencies and eliminate some of that vibrato. The live mode button is used if you're going to be doing pitch correction while you are actually singing or performing your vocal performance. You wanna tick live mode if you're actually doing it live and not processing audio that has already been recorded. Neptune is actually able to read the notes that you play on your MIDI keyboard. When you change the MIDI function, you can actually change how Neptune is receiving that information, either to adjust the pitch, to adjust the voice synth, or to treat it as a MIDI input. And we're going to use some of that a little later on in this tutorial. 
The transpose section will actually allow you to change the pitch of the entire vocal track. That's also in live mode as well. So if you want to hear what your voice sounds like when it is pitched down or pitched up, then you can do that with the transpose feature. The format button changes the way Neptune analyzes the vocal. So it'll either treat it as though it is trying to keep the same pitch that is being performed, or it will actually raise the pitch and lower the pitch depending on what you are trying to accomplish. You can also shift your format so that it will sound more higher, for example, to sound more of a female or a higher range of vocal, or you can shift it lower if you want to sound more male or with a lower pitch vocal. There's a mixer section, which allows you to control how much of your original signal and how much of your process signal is being heard. And lastly, this is where the power of Neptune comes in. This correction knob allows you to either be just a slight adjustment of your pitch or go full T-Pain. If you wanna go full T-Pain, crank it all the way to the top. Now that we've gone over the Neptune features, let's actually hear it in action. I'm going to solo this track and then we're going to adjust some of the parameters so we can hear how Neptune works. One day I'm going to make it out the struggle. You see me every day. I got to hustle. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. So if I turn the correction speed down, then that means it's going to have a very slow correction speed. So let's say if we turned it to about 32. One day I'm going to make it out the struggle. You see me every day. I got to hustle. It's nothing. And of course, now it's not actually giving that effect that we want, that T-Pain effect, that super processed auto pitched effect. We're not getting that effect anymore. But if I want to hear more of that effect, then I can raise the correction speed up. I'm a dot giant. Yeah, yeah. Another feature that really unlocks the power of Neptune is by using your MIDI keyboard. You can also draw out MIDI notes as well. So for example, if I hold down the A on my keyboard, then you will see that Neptune has drawn a line right there on A, and that means that all of the signal will be sent to A and the pitch will be adjust to A, only to that pitch. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. You see me every day, I gotta hustle. It's nothing. It's I'm nothing. a dog trying. Yeah, yeah. I'm a dog trying. Yeah, yeah. Put that on my line. One day. You can get very creative with your MIDI keyboard and with these different pitch changes in order to create harmonies, in order to create uh, variations in your vocal performance. If that didn't sound how you was expecting it to sound, you might want to turn on the format mode. When we turn on format, the way that the audio signal is processed will sound a little different. You see me every day, I got a hustle. It's nothing. Now I'm a dot giant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm a dot giant. Yeah, yeah. Put that on my life. One day. So Neptune is actually trying to capture the original performance and only apply the pitch. It's not actually changing how fast the pitch sounds or, you know, sending it into a totally different transpose or note. It's actually just raising the frequency in a way that allows it to sound like I'm singing at that note without actually sounding like I'm a chipmunk or like my voice is super high. It actually sounds really interesting because as I play the higher notes, it sounds like I'm even struggling to get that note. And it sounds exactly how it probably would sound if I tried to sing at that note. One day I'm going to make it out the struggle. You see me every day. I got to hustle. So, um, that's just a little side note that I was thinking about, but it can get very creative. As I said, let's actually record in those note changes. And I had a performance idea that I had in mind for this case. So we're going to actually record that in now. One day I'm going to make it out the struggle. You see me every day. I got a hustle. It's nothing. Oh, I'm a dad trying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm a dad trying. Yeah, yeah. Put that on my life. One day. One day, one day, one day. So Reason has recorded in those MIDI notes 
and those MIDI notes will affect the change of the pitch shift that's happening inside of Neptune. Let's actually hear that back with and without the rest of the vocal track. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. You see me every day, I gotta hustle. It's nothing. I'm a dot giant. Yeah, yeah. I'm a dot giant. Yeah, yeah. Put that on my line. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. You see me every day, I gotta hustle. It's nothing. I'm a dot giant. Yeah, yeah. I'm a dot giant. Yeah, yeah. Put that on my line. When we use Neptune in this way, we can then see how, you know, T-Pain actually captures those harmonies and different things that he's doing inside of his singing. Of course, it always helps to have a better singing voice just like T-Pain does, because then you're not forcing the software to fix your voice. And instead, what you're doing is just fine tuning the different parts where you may have wandered off from your note or where you have been struggling to reach a note where you may have been flat or where you may have been a little sharp that's where neptune truly shines but of course you can use it creatively and just create a whole totally different sound for this example it actually almost sounded like a vocoder was being applied to the vocal synth and so with that neptune truly is a powerful synth effect speaking of vocoder if we change our MIDI function so that it is using a voice synth, what that will do is Neptune will create a voice synth that will actually sing along to your original voice and it will only sing at the exact notes that you have applied. So in that way, you can definitely double or create harmonies with your voice and you can use the mixer to fine tune how much of that synth voice that you want to hear. Let's give it a try. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. You see me every day, I gotta hustle. It's nothing. I'm a dot trying. Yeah, yeah. I'm a dot trying. Yeah, yeah. Put that on my line. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. You see me every day. So there's a difference between how your MIDI notes are being applied to Neptune. If you use it as pitch adjust, it, it adjusts the actual vocal performance. But if you add in the voice synth, it actually actually creates a voice synth that then sings along with your vocal performance. So now we can really hear the difference. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. Let's change that note. Let's say we want it to be an E instead. We can actually change it to E. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. And this is an effect that like pop artists use, right? And um and especially like EDM music, right? Creating a vocal voice synth that is basically only giving you one specific pitch and that just transforms the way that the music sounds. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. So if we want it, we could create a sequence where that rising pitch effect is happening and maybe doing like a buildup. Of course, this style of music is not really for that. But if we were making that style of music, that is how we could use Neptune to create that voice synth effect and be able to create that kind of mood inside of our music. Getting creative, we can actually do some automation with the pitch band and then we can make our vocals sound like it's going down while the rest of the vocals are staying at the same pitch. So we can use our pitch band, go ahead, edit automation, and then we can just draw in a ramp where this is going down from our regular zero placement all the way down to as far as reason will let us take it. We'll hit zero and then we'll hear how that sounds. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. You see me every day, I gotta hustle. It's nothing, I'm a dot giant, yeah, yeah. Let's say we actually wanted to add in some of that vibrato. Let's hear how that would sound. One day I'm gonna make it out the struggle. You see me every day, I gotta hustle. It's nothing, I'm a dot giant, yeah, yeah. I'm a dot giant, yeah, yeah. Put that on my line. So this is how the vibrato will sound. Of course, there's use cases where you might want to use vibrato or not use vibrato. And of course, you might want to take out some of the vibrato. And so you can change your rate in order to do that as well.
The Neptune Pitch Adjuster is a powerful effect inside of Reason 12, and it can help you to transform your vocal performances. You can also use it on instruments, and you can use it in drums. You can pretty much use it as anything that you like. Go ahead and make sure that you try out the Neptune Pitch Adjuster and get creative with your music. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you found that it was helpful, please make sure to leave a like on this video and if you really liked it, feel free to share it with others so that they can get the information as well. Please feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions or comments. I love responding to all of the questions and comments. And if you're looking for more Reason 12 tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel because this A to Z tutorial series is not done yet. Until next time, peace.